Hello, internet friends. My name is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Please excuse the hoarse voice. I've been fighting with a head cold and sore throat this week. Uh, but here we are. I wanted to do a quick tutorial. The question came up about dealing with saved plan views and uh, how, how they interact with layout pages. Just wanted to get started right away here. I have several saved plan views. This came from another designer, so they don't have as many saved plan views as I have. But we have our working plan view. This is the one where I actually use to change things, move things around. I can turn layers on and off, you know, quickly, um, like so. And, and maybe I want, you know, to see a lot more of those um, layers than necessary. Uh, let's go back and turn a few things on like that. Uh, cameras. Let's turn the, let's turn that off as well. Notice, notice like for instance, this eight foot flat ceiling is covering up the 623 square feet. Well, that's because in working layer set, I have my interior area turned on. If I turn that off, I get the 623 square feet. But if I turn it back on, it's like, it's messed up. But if I go to my floor plan view dimensioned, those that information is all off anyway. And that's the way I want it to work here. But I'm working in floor plan view dimensioned because that's what's going to uh, put my... Uh, put the correct layer for text, for lines, for uh, dimensions, etc. And then I send this to layout. I've got this layout set up already. Now notice I've got floor plan view dimensioned opened as a tab. And if I open up the electrical plan, I've got both now floor plan view dimensioned and electrical layout. So I could switch from electrical to CD floor plan view dimensioned or change this to working plan view and move things around. Or I could come to the work electrical plan and go to working plan view and work from here. And I'm going to just close out that extra tab and go back to my electrical plan. But this layout is still connected to electrical plan. Just because I changed this saved plan view, say to working plan view, as I did here, that does not change the layout connection here. If I click once on this layout box and use my door or control E to open that, you'll see why. This is connected to the saved plan view, electrical plan view, and it's showing the second floor. I'm going to select this and do the same thing. Control E. It's connected to a saved plan view named electrical plan view on the first floor. Now back here, I actually have multiple saved plan views. This one is floor plan view dimensioned. This one is also floor plan view dimensioned. This one is roof plan view. So I can have multiple plan views on multiple different, uh, on the same page. And let's say I had gone in here, let's draw, let's go in here and draw a line. Let's, let's just put text here. Uh, when I put text here, it says text CD plan is not displayed. Do you want to turn on the display of this layer in the current view? Well, the current view is working plan view, so I don't care. Yes, I'll put that on. And I'm I'm actually going to change this because I want to show you something. Let's go, let's say I go in, I'm in floor plan view. And I want to, uh, I want this text to refer to something regarding roof plans, not construction docs, not, not the architectural plans. Go to the layout, and you'll notice there's that text on the floor plan, not the roof plan. 
So what do you do? Well, I could do a couple things. Let's add another text box. I want this text to refer to architectural notes on the floor plan view. Go back to my layout. There's both notes. Switch to my roof plan view. Not there. Right? It's not, that that note that I wanted for roof plan notes is not there. I could turn on the text CD plan view. And there's the note that I want. But there's the note that I don't want. That's the architectural note. So I don't want to turn on CD plan view. That doesn't make any sense, correct? Select this, go back to the floor plan view. Select this note, change that to my roof, text roofs layer. It disappears in the floor plan view dimension. It appears, I can move it where I want it to in the roof plan, and let's look at our layout. There you go. It shows up here, this shows up here. We're all set. Now this is roof plan view. Once again, I can double click on this. And now I've got floor plan view, roof plan view, and the layout for this project. I hope that's helpful. I hope that explains some things. I would suggest thinking in terms of the saved plan view is what drives this. Um, don't, don't think of the layout driving this. Don't think of the pages driving this project. Think of the saved plan views as the base, the foundation of your project, if you will. You can certainly start with a layout page and open up the plan view from here and then just switch to Mechanical plan view, plot plan view, roof plan view, working plan view if you want. But remember, the saved plan view is what's going to affect the default set and the layer set. I did notice something when I go to floor plan view or roof plan view. This says active defaults. And that's another video, but I'm going to switch this to roof annotations. And when I do that, notice I need to save this this uh, icon next to the saved plan view gets full color instead of gray. So I need to save this roof plan view with these two settings. There we go. I'm going to just go back in here and delete these as we know this. And if you want something, if something shows up in your floor plan view that you actually want in the roof plan view, go into your floor plan view dimension, go into the uh, plan view, change that layer to the correct text CAD or dimension layer, um, and turn it on. Or turn it off here, turn the layer on there, however it needs to be. But that's that's the way I have found it works the best. I hope this is helpful. If you like this, please click like and subscribe. If you have any thoughts, uh, uh, leave a comment below. I enjoyed the interaction. Take care. Have a great weekend.